Tonight we're having a little scary video game night. We're gonna play Five Nights at Freddy 4. Hopecore so core as fuck. Hopecore, wait, this is Loki Hopecore. I feel that. Yeah. Oh, what is Freddy? What is he got? My body is a map of LA. <laughs> How about what I do? Hey, babe. Singing in the backyard. I'm so scared. The closet thing is very scary as well. That's where you belong, Josiah. Very funny. Wow. Like in the closet. Do you get it, Josiah? Like, oh, cause Gary. Or, I guess. Well, that's because you're just fun and petite. I think you get fit in there. Oh, I just, I thought it'd be. Wait, what was that? Did y'all see the clothes move? I'm not sure. Yossi! It was getting quiet. Yes, creepy. Oh, oh, close oh, the door. Close oh, the door. Close, oh. the door. close the fucking door. No, you oh, have to. Oh, it's flashing. The light is oh, wait, flashing. Wait, 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 wait. Go. What get am I supposed away. to do? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> What am I supposed to do? They're close, he's behind you. No, don't even say that right now. Just look, just go. You know what's gonna happen. Oh fuck, sorry. Sorry. Oh! There's someone running around in your room. <laughs> oh, motherfucking oh bitch. <laughs> you already know. You already know what's coming. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. So as you guys know, I'm very open and honest uh, with my journey with mental health. And I mean, literally currently right now, we're on pause from the podcast, taking a little staycation to kind of ground ourselves and uh, figure our stuff out a little bit because it's gotten dark. And another one of those tools that we're using to our advantage is therapy. And BetterHelp is the perfect, perfect platform for that. BetterHelp is 100% online. And with over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists, there's definitely a match for you. To get started with BetterHelp, all you do is fill out a quick questionnaire, quick survey, and you'll be matched with the perfect therapist for your needs and preferences. And the greatest thing about BetterHelp is if you're not clicking with your therapist, something just isn't working out, you can switch at any time, no questions asked, and no additional charge. On top of that, all of the sessions are from the comfort of your own home, the comfort of your car, wherever you're most comfortable. And you can do it over a phone call, over a video call, chat, text, whatever works for you. Just shoot your therapist a message at any time and schedule a live session whenever it's comfortable with you. With BetterHelp, you can expect the same professionalism you'd get from an in-office therapist, but with a therapist that is custom picked for you. More scheduling flexibility at a more affordable price. Go to betterhelp.com forward slash Drew Phillips. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com forward slash Drew Phillips for 10% off your first month or click the top link in my description, whatever works best for you. All right, so it is the next day after video game night, but the real horrors are man-made. The real horrors are the lead paint in all of our little cups and glasses. See, I've been hypothesizing this for a few months now that we just have a bunch of glasses, really cute glasses, don't get me wrong, um, with lead paint in them in our cupboard. And we're probably actively losing brain cells. So I got lead testing strips. Let's see if we have been drinking out of lead cups this entire time, because if so, it would explain so much. Like, you know how on the podcast, I'm always like, oh my God, I have mold poisoning. There's black mold in the house. Wait, no, maybe there's a gas leak and that's why I'm acting like this. What if the entire time it's been lead? Who the fuck made lead paint? One, who made it? I, I guess like, I'm like, who made it? Why would you make it bad? They didn't know it was bad. I don't know. Whatever, bro. Suck my nuts. Wet swab tip with white vinegar. Okay, can't do that. I don't have that shit. Hey, Josiah. 
Why would they sell me something that I need something else for? Oh my God, this is bullshit. I'm actually so upset right now. Maybe I just need something like acidic. Yeah, because maybe the vinegar is supposed to be acidic so it can actually be abrasive and get the shit off of there. I'll just use my urine because I've been eating red 40 all day. <laughs> acidic urine. Fucker. Fucker. That's the thing a lot of people for seem to forget is that free will exists. And like, if I wanted to, I really could just taste bitches for fun. And you're lucky I don't. Also, I don't think I've showed y'all these. Look what you're leaning up against. Yeah. We did a thing. So I did a thing and I got rare and unusual plants. I think they're called bunny ears or some shit, but they look like hearts. That's a lithop, love a good lithop. Oh my God, I wanna know, I really wanna know so bad. Should I just order vinegar? I think I should. I'm gonna have a fucking panic attack. I'm gonna have a fucking panic attack. I'm ordering it. Also, while we're waiting, I did a thing. So we did a thing. I can't believe this is still on this goddamn wall. And I'm really proud of it. And it's probably really ugly to everyone else. But to me, I think it's Gorgiana. It's not done yet. I need to get a few more carpets. One big ass one underneath. Yeah. Yeah. I got a bunch of carpets. Um, now, I think they need to be lived in and loved a little bit because they're like still a little uncomfortable to walk on and like you feel the seams a little bit and i'm imagining that if after a while they'll just kind of all blend into each other but with that said i think i kind of body this and i cleaned some of the plushies that were on my bed and i put them on the floor there and i think i might be taking all of them off and putting them all over here in the corner. I don't know. There's a lot, a lot of bad shit going on, a lot of bad vibes, but yeah. Also, I don't think I've updated you guys on this, but this is my Naguchi lamp and I'm so proud of it. And I'm so proud of the installation. I love the cord coming off the wall. And then I got another one over here. I got my iMac G3. I got all my books um, that are, yes, collecting dust. I'm not reading those books. I don't read. Reading is for nerds and losers. Get a fucking life. I got all my CDs right there and right up there. Those are all from Japan too, which is really exciting. Got this lamp. Oh my God. Everything, it's just looking so good. I need to like, I should do like an updated room tour for you guys or something and just kind of show you everything I got, but not now. All right. I am back and I have this and I have this. I sat down and ate fucking hot dogs because I was starving. Yeah, I eat hot dogs. I don't give a fuck what you have to say. It is disgusting, I'll admit. I cannot be the only one that experiences this, but when I have a craving for hot dogs, it is deeper than life itself. It is deeper than just hunger. It is like an addiction, it is like a craving, it is like something that I need to do and I need to eat immediately or my family will die. It's indescribable the way my body fiends for hot dogs when it wants them and if I don't satiate that craving, it's all done. It's all, it's, it's all done. It's all, it's over for all of us. Like nuclear codes in hand blowing up the world type shit. I fixed that. After swab tip has turned a mustard yellow color, promptly use test. If it turns red, violet, pink, there's likely lead. All right, let's go ladies. I'm not gonna dip that in there. Okay, literally the world is ending outside. Like it sounds like critters are running around. Okay, mustard yellow. We are good, y'all. This might just be... Oh, no, we're good. This 
is another one that I'm like, girl, that's fucking lead. But I'm also like, girl, that's... Oh. Okay, this actually might have fucking lead in it. <laughs> uh uh. Y'all. <gasps> Cause look, look. This is one that I tested on something that didn't have lead. This one was this. <gasps> Y'all, this is crazy. Oh my god. I don't know how crazy this actually is, but it feels fucking crazy. And that's just been sitting in our cabinet and I just touched it. Lead in your drink out of this this morning. Lips go right there. Get a little bit of lead in your system. We're done. We're over. It's a wrap. Y'all. So I found another cup. I'm using an old test strip that didn't test or that tested negative. This has lead in it too. Thankfully, it's broken. Lead poisoning. Lead poisoning. Lead poisoning. We're done. We're done. We're done. It's over. I don't know. Like, do you throw it out? Like, if you find out it has lead in it? Or, like, what do you do? Because, like... Pause. What the fuck was that? No, I'm gonna rewind it back and slow it down. What the fuck was that? shit away because it's like nice as fuck but whatever i fucking knew it i told Anya i was like we have lead cups in this cupboard but no one wants to believe me in my intellect i'm a genius y'all oh my god y'all look the lead is leading like how much that is it reacted like crazy that was me testing my mugs for lead and me eating hot dogs and me showing you my carpets and me playing scary video games and me doing a couple other things that I don't remember what I recorded because I probably recorded it like a week ago because I just kind of pull out my iPhone and start recording like little life events now because I'm like, that's what I watch on YouTube. That's what people should watch of me on YouTube. This has been Drew Phillips. I love you. I hope you have a fantabulous day or night. And I hope life is treating you good. I hope you're having a good 2023. I hope your angels are watching over you because the end is coming.